Hey guys, it's Shannon with Apex Tarot Pure Spirit, and we're just jumping in here to do a Just Because reading uh, for this afternoon, so let's go ahead and do that. Happy birthday to you Capricorns. I hope that those of you who are celebrating today are having an, an absolutely fantastic one. Welcome if you're new, and welcome back if you're not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use this angel deck here. Kind of a bigger deck of cards to shuffle. Get them shuffled real quick and we'll get on to it or with it. <laughs> Thank you, sweet divine, for truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. I bind and block all negative forces right here, right now. And I command for that truth to come to the surface for the highest good. And whoever has clicked upon this message to get. A right now on time word straight out of the ethers to give hope and understanding okay so we have the five of fire this is the competition card bothersome details conflict with others competing goals but it came out with two other cards the king of fire being motivational idealistic ambitious charismatic Focus, 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 it says. It says to communicate with the vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative possibly is what you need to do. Uh, the fire is creative in itself. We have the ace of water coming out on top of this. So if you've been fighting and now something motivational has come along, you're going to be idealistic about stuff that's, po that's positive then. The ace of waters is here. And it says falling in love. Um... Or the, resur the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition, a new home. That's absolutely gorgeous. So, obviously there's been, you know, conflict or something within passions, within the emotions. But, you know, maybe fighting over love situations, the home. But something here is uh, motivational to someone. And that's positive. Let's go on. Let's do a past, present, future. Best path to follow. What's in the environment of all of this. And some people are moving out of this stuff. Fighting against those passions that just don't serve. They just don't serve. Got I love that it said focus, focus, focus. And communicate with the vision. What's your vision? Should be love. Love is the highest vibration of them all. Okay, we already got two that came out. Okay, guys. We got the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I like it in this deck. It says um, independent. She's very independent. Experienced. This is about being realistic. Okay. Witty. It says objective decision making. Yes. Be objective on your decision making. It says clearing away all that no longer serves you. Absolutely. Love is the highest vibration of them all. And you're going to get motivated here when you begin to get those thoughts under control and be objective with what comes across your, your, your brain. Okay? Cut away things that just do not matter anymore. Getting out of this passion stuff that just gets you into nothing but a war here. Okay? And it says um, seeing the humor in a situation as well. Okay, well, that's beautiful when you can do that and be able to cut things away and laugh about things. Remember when we used to get so mad about that and laugh about it? Something like that is what's come through my spirit here. All right, it's called being grown up. So in the past, the nine of air, which we've been seeing a lot of that here, you know, expecting the worst to happen, it says. Self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless nights, being in your head in your bed. Anxiety, despair, you know, overcoming things that you just felt like you can't fear blinding stuff and delay in the past and we've seen this in the right now moment this morning so obviously if somebody's finally getting over something and they're being able to pull those passions down pull those thoughts being charismatic in the way you think and focusing 
and uh, being creative in a very positive way. That's beautiful because we've got the Ace of Cups here. And now you're learning how to, you know, uh, fix a relationship here. Okay, fall back in love with something that you love. If you don't have anybody around you, do something that you love, okay, it, within your home. Maybe you're moving to a new home. Something like that's happening so that you can move to a new home. Whatever this has been, there's a change. A five is a change. Okay, so this was uh, past energy of being in your head, in your bed, okay? In the right now moment, we have the emperor. And this is taking control, okay? The emperor will stand up and give aid. Okay, it's supposed to. Okay, so we've got the King of Fire here. He's got all four of the um, kings within him. And the King of Fire is right here. So this is the Emperor, a part of the Emperor. Focus, he's saying, focus as a father would, the father of the universe. Get up and fight for things that matter. Okay, and quit making matters up on yourself, fulfill itself, and have these self-fulfilling prophecies that give you nothing but sleepless nights because you're only expecting the worst. Okay, be independent in your thoughts and be realistic about what you're thinking about and be objective with them and focus, focus, focus. Okay, taking control, being organized, having logic and structure and discipline within your leadership of your own self. Okay, because you can't help anybody until you can help yourself and get control. Okay, so we've got the emperor showing up here, uh, which says Archangel Michael. Okay, and it's a four. And that's about laying a new foundation down. Absolutely, we have an ace right here. Okay. Uh, in the future. Okay, beautiful. So we've got we've got the Queen of Air coming up. We know the Emperor, the energy of this has the other counterpart, which is the Empress. Okay, which has all of the four of the Queens. It's about being balanced. Okay. So we've got the King and Queen of Fire, the counterparts of itself also showing up and having to stay focused within your passion it says to stretch your wings and fly be confident warm intelligent and graceful uh, it says don't underestimate yourself and assert your independence and creativity the queen of air said to be independent okay in positivity this is about being warm the queen of uh, wands is about you know having that friendly honorable intensive yes but being friendly and honorable within that truthful getting up in war for truthful things for love okay not competing against other people just say if you got to do that man walk away from that stuff it just don't matter <laughs> it just does it okay if you want to be in war all your life then you're i guess you're going to just you just like to do that but this is about love this is about literally having love in your home to be overflowed within your heart so that you can let things go okay so that you can begin to laugh and see the humor in things like i just said was coming through my spirit remember when we used to just god we just get so angry about that and then you'd laugh about it now because you've grown up well why is it now you're not well because you're seeing something now for what it really is and some somebody's light bulb just went off is what the divine just said it's time to stretch your wings and fly. Let us not underestimate what we can do, even in the midst of hell itself. All like I was talking about today on one of my videos, I used to have a deck of cards that had the devil there and his back was turned. And there's a lotus flower growing right there in the pit of hell itself. Don't underestimate what the divine can do through you. Be confident. Be warm. Be intelligent. Be graceful within it. Yes, but let us stretch our wings and let us fly and let us be organized and be logical and cut those things away that just do not matter anymore. Okay? Because the divine says, I've got ten of cups for you. I have a contented and a rewarding family life awaiting when you can do this. Okay? In the future, you're going to have to be confident and be graceful within or flying to whatever it is that you need to uh, assert your independence toward and be creative with. The, it's going to lead you right here to love. The, look, the Ace of Cups is the Ten of Cups. It breaks down to the One. Okay? Right here. Focus, focus, focus. It says uh, your emotional and material needs are met. Well, what did it say here? A new home. It says falling in love. That's something emotional. That's overflowing cups, right? When you and I can, uh, you know, be independent and experienced. This is experienced. 
energy. Well, the emperor is experienced. If you got all four kings within you, then you don't get in this lower vibration stuff. You just don't even put up with it. Even though this represents getting up in war, you're getting up to war to shake somebody saying, can you just wake the hell up for a minute here? Don't you see what you're freaking doing? This is low vibrational. And sometimes we have to get down on that level because sometimes people just don't get it. Okay, but we've got somebody here that is, we've got kings and queens showing up here. This is absolutely beautiful. And the divine is saying that I've got your emotional and your material needs met. Trustworthy relationships are here, it says. That's absolutely beautiful energy coming out. What is in the environment right here of the emperor? Okay, is the six of water, something with the past. Okay, well, this also said a uh, resurgence, a resurgence uh, I guess that's how you say that, as, uh, of a relationship that's reconciling things with people that you know, okay? Or with just, you know, the emotions within yourself. Um, maybe people come around that are brand new, but they're past life people as well. We know that our subconscious mind's always going off and we can hit it off with somebody you never met, but there's some reason why you hit it off with somebody and others why you don't. And I've talked about that on my channel before. It's because we knew them from past lives before as well. So that also could be happening. This is memories from your history or your childhood. Yeah, being in nostalgia about things right here with the emperor energies, but getting things organized and being real logical with it, okay, and getting things structured and, and analyzing what we need to and put, put them in their place, okay, um, romanticizing the past, okay, that's fine to do that, don't get, just don't sit there, okay, because when we get in this, um, energy of nostalgia and we just sit there all the time then we get into inertia and then we're stuck we're stuck okay so it's beautiful to look back at the past and grow from it like this is saying and being objective and now seeing things for what they really are and seeing the humor in it because now we've grown up when I was a child, I thought like a child. Okay, I acted like a child. I spoke like a child. But then I grew up and I put child things, childish things behind and I become, you know, fresh and new and learn how to cut other things that don't serve my life away. And now I teach from that place because I know how to focus, focus, focus and be motivational within that warm place of understanding that I don't get nowhere when I sit here all the time expecting the worst. It, it, the divine's just saying it's really time to look at things for what they are and be cut and dry with it. We've been seeing a lot of the queen of, of air come up. And like I said, last couple of days, we've been seeing her with the, today, the uh, queen of swords came up with her having the mask in the hand. Yesterday she came up with the whole head <laughs> in her hand and cutting things away. Literally cutting our thoughts completely out. The whole head itself. The emperor represents the head. The whole head has been sick. Not understanding that okay, I can be confident in something. I can focus with this. I can be loving and kind. I don't have to get down into this lower energy that does nothing but cause conflict. What that say? Being competitive. Well, it's okay to be competitive in a positive way, obviously. But if you got to go hunt and chase and steal and murder and take, be vampires of people's energy and spiritual stuff and all that kind of stuff, it, it does nothing. It does nothing for you. It doesn't work for you. Okay, so be careful about with our thoughts. What the divine saying? It's okay to reminisce the reminisce about the past and stuff like that but don't stay there forever time to get up time to get focused time to begin to move and to be motivational and be idealistic in what it is we're focusing on and be confident and uh, stretch our wings and begin to fly like it's telling us to do in the hopes yes is to be able to come into our own and have new partnerships and contracts and to continue to move forward with passion, got a lot of passion coming out here. Even the emperor himself, even though he's got all four um, kings within him, it's it's Mars rule. This passionate stuff happening right here. Okay, planning things. Okay, being able to move forward in a very positive way and negotiate from that place. Okay, 
the outcome, the nine of earth, enjoying life's little luxuries and spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment, being able to literally be self-sufficient. I love the nine of earth because when I see it in the rider way, I see a person completely whole within themselves, even if you're with other people. Obviously, it says falling in love. You got to be whole within yourself before you can be whole with other people. And that's a fact. If you've got to be down here and be in rivalry and competition and conflict and passionately fighting and brainstorming about turmoil things that keep you here, you're not whole in yourself. Okay? Oh, yeah, you might have material stuff and you might even be enjoying life's little luxuries, but you're a mess on the inside. If you don't know how to be... Um, grown up and and stable and organized you, you just you really are a mess and you're just segregated then because that card of the negative is about being segregated okay but we have kings and queens showing up here and the emperor himself and the head of something okay that is beautiful getting things in order stretching our wings and flying not underestimating anything being independent right we've got two cards that tell us to be independent the divine is saying to love like you've never loved before you know you got to it's the highest vibration of them all because you know there's a rewarding family uh that's awaiting for us when we allow people to be free and to stretch their wings and fly then we really can be whole and be able to communicate in new partnerships and with new contracts and to continue to move forward and learning from the past and laughing about it. It's positive, guys. Absolutely positive. So anyway, I just wanted to hop in here and check the um, the energies with whoever this is, re is resonating with me. If it's in your power to allow love to flow in somebody's life, and get past things that have happened really, really bad from the past. And it's in your power to do something nice and to make new contracts and to negotiate very passionately and to get over yourself and you focus on a new vision and you spread your wings and fly and be okay to sit back and go, I want you to spread your wings and fly too. And not have the rulership over somebody in stubbornness then baby, you're, you're, you're beautiful on the inside then if you can do that for somebody. It's to be respected for real. So, all right, guys, until next time, shalom.